the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's a comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. Oh, what a play. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There goes the deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana. Now from the windy city of Chicago, there's a beautiful look at fabled Wrigley Field. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Stay tuned for Cubs baseball next. Jake Arrieta, the Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. Harold, what do you got? You know, I'm excited to watch this guy pitch. He's got over 200 strikeouts on the season. With that comes a lot of innings. He's very durable, almost like a throwback type of guy. So watching him execute his game plan is very fun to me. And I hope he's on top of his game today so you can see the best of him as well. So striding in, Juan Ligares. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Line drive snagged on a short hop. No problem here. One away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy's hitting over 450 his last 10 games. He's the guy I'm watching, but not only in this game. I watched him in batting practice, too, and he was hammering the ball. When you get on a kind of a roll like he is right now, his confidence is soaring, and right now he's seeing the ball great. Now at the plate as Dribble Cabrera currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. No offer on that one two balls and a strike. Well Harold as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight. They were losers last time out but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah Matt I mean everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division they're blowing everybody away. The challenge I think moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch hard on the ground towards short. Russell has it. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third, the left fielder number 30. At the plate, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Bases are empty here with two men out. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Matt Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz for pitching because he's got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s calling balls off the plate. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. 
In now is John Jay. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Pitch on the way. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Well, Matt, if you ask me how to start a game, you want your pitcher to throw a one, two, three, which he did the top half, and then your leadoff guy gets a single. That's a recipe for success. Here's Addison Russell, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Runner at first with no outs here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Conforto is after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs starting lineup. Who stands out to you Danny? Well you have to be hoping that Chris Bryant can get it going soon. If you remember he drove in over a hundred runs last season so everyone pretty much expected him to be a huge contributor again this year. That hasn't been the case so far but it's still early. I'm hoping he starts the turnaround in this one. There to pull it in Ligaris and there are two away now. Stepping up now, Anthony Rizzo. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest, number five in the National League home run race. Ready with the one and one. This is line to left. Conforto is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley with no score. Here's Juana Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Lays off that time and it's one and two. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Reached for and popped into the air back behind second. There to take it is Zobrist and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs. And at hey, first man. base, Anthony nice. Rizzo. Another one of those guys that can pick the ball out of the dirt for you. But I love the fact he's aggressive and he'll make that throw to home, he'll throw it to second, and he'll even dive in the stands for you if he needs to. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. No score here as we play inning number two. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Well it's two and one now and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet as a hitter. You've probably got to sit on that right now. Called strike on the sinker two and two now. All even at two and two here it is. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. The one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. In now, Wilmer Flores. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Ah, uh, but he'll recover in time to get the lead runner at second. So a heads up play there to get that second out. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. 
back with more on a Thursday night following this. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Nobody out runner on first. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. It wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Lifted the other way to left center. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Well, let's take a look at the Mets Got defense it. brought to you by Majesta. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. One and one, here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. To so two balls and two strikes now. I like the pitch. It just missed. That's a sweeping slider. That thing is nasty. Try to get him to chase it. I might even come back with it again. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. Throw won't get him. Coming to the plate now, Jake Arrieta. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And the Cubs are going to strike first here. It's a base hit, and they have taken a 1-0 lead. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts them ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Caesar. Stepping in now, Matt Caesar. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 2-2. Again, he sends it out of play. A 2-2 two and two count. Here's the pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Grounder down the line at third. And this is going to get by right down the line. It's a fair ball. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Nine pitch at bat, and he gets the RBI hit. Oh, next for the Bottom count. off, battle, and got the RBI John hit. Impressive. Hey. Into the box, John Jay. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right into shallow left. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Addison. Addison Russell. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Striding in, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. 
into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Matt Reynolds. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw gets him, two down. Batting ninth. Into the box DeGrom. now, Jacob DeGrom. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Bryant. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1 and 1, here it comes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Eddie. He's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Conforto has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Left fielder. Riding in once again, Kyle Schwerber. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And that misses two and one. hit hard towards center and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so Ben Zobrist will bat this inning following the two out hit well a little two out single now you may not think it's much but he's already given up a couple runs this game so maybe this is the start of something big Standing in now, Ben Zobrist. And this is fouled at the plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Cubs strand one. They're up two to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. The pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The shortstop number 13. Now at the plate, as Dribble Cabrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Jay giving chase. 
And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The left fielder number 30. Michael Digging in now, Conforto. Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hey. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here, two to nothing. Digging in, Wilson Contreras. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. And the pitch on two and one. Hit well on the ground to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. The, the pitcher, pitcher Jake Arietta, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice Arietta. situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. Two runs, six hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. To Cabrera for one, on to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Uh, he now got batting. the bunt down, but he Strike didn't fielder. deaden it enough. Matt. Really good job Caesar. by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box now. Matt Caesar up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right the there. In now is John Jay. John he singled Jay. in two trips to the plate thus far. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. But this will land untouched. Here's another one, too. Slap hard the opposite way, but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Now Digging in once again, Shortstop. Addison Russell. Addison. Two men on, two Russell. away here in the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two men are on with two men out. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple, but they're on top two to nothing. Here's Juana Cespedes. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. One and two, here it comes hit hard on the ground towards second there to play it is Zobrist and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away an early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth and boy just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter digging in David Wright one for one after a single his first time up And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look you for go. the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Another try at 2-2. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full 3-2. and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2-2. Two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. So well, another exceptional four. effort that for him on the mound. He's got Wilmer the shutout working Lord. here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And with the final month winding down here, he finds himself in second place in the National League in that department. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's Chris Bryant now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. Bryant around first, heading for second. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and it allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber. He singled his last time up. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard to the right. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. Another full count pitch home. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. Stepping in now, Ben Zobrist. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hard hit ball to second. Taken in by Flores. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Another 1 2 delivery. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Now another 1 2. And that's a base hit. 1 for 2 in his first couple of plate appearances. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. You know, Matt, he wasn't going to get beaten out of bat. You could see it in his eyes. He was just determined. Fell off a bunch of pitches, and he was just digging in, looking for one pitch to hit, and he finally got it and got the base hit. A runner at first with no outs here. In now, Matt Reynolds had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Two one, here it is. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. 
Well, the good ones have that bat control. You see right there, he had a hole on the right side. Not First baseman was holding. Second well, baseman playing double play. Jacob Definitely shot it right wrong. through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. Jose Reyes will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. This is pulled into right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. Here's Juan Lagares. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here comes the payoff pitch. Runner breaks for third. Sliced hard on the ground. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The runner scores from second. Well, Matt, they didn't score much yesterday. You know, the conversation before the, the game was, was their offense going to be able to do anything today? Cabrera. Right there, that one run might be enough to kind of propel them into a good stretch now. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Nope. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. He's set and the two one pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. That's in there. Base hit. Ligaris rounds the corner and is headed home. And that's going to plate the go-ahead run from second as they move out in front here, three to two. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI base Michael. hit, and now his side has the lead. Cespedes. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Go back to New York, man. Here he comes again, one, two. And this will be fouled away. Three runs already home here. All right, Hard hit toward the hole. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out, five. seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Fernando Rodriguez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Fernando Rodriguez. David Wright will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Two down runners at first and second. Hit in the air out to center field. Jay has a read on it, and the inning is over. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine due up in the home half. The Mets lead this one three to two.
Hansel Robles enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Riding in once again, Wilson Contreras. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. The pitcher, number Tommy LaStella will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Two and two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Right onto the grass, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Matt. Ready once Caesar. again, Matt Caesar. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. And this is fouled back and out of play. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And Ligares will look this one in, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Still a 3-2 ball game. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Koji Uehara is on to pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. Koji Uehara. Digging in once again Wilmer Flores. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. That was terrific. You men. always hear keep your hands that's inside it. the baseball. Probably. That's a perfect Darn example. No. The ball was in and he took it back up the middle. You can't do that if you don't keep your hands inside the baseball. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right handers begun to get loose. In now Travis Darno. And he struck him out second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. That was some nice execution on that pitch spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that especially with two strikes not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Very tight ball game three to two our score in inning number seven. Into the box, Matt Reynolds. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And that's in there for a called third strike on the split fingered fastball, two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working yeah, out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's, He's taking control of this inning after Number giving nine. up that hit. Now Brandon. we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Wait. Oh, that one got the pitcher. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. Well, that's the sixth game he's hit and he's swinging back pretty good now. That's a six game streak. You got to start somewhere. Pay attention, people. He's getting hot. Digging in and looking for more. Juan Ligares. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. 
takes this the other way to right. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the Ladies inning is over. It's two left for the, for the Mets, seven, but they still threat. lead it three to two. AJ Ramos plate. gets the call now from the pen to take York. over on the mound and Number start the home four. seven. AJ Ramos. Ready for another shot now. John Jay is working on a one for three thus far. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Set to deal on two and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Two is left. Reynolds. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Here's Addison Russell. Addison. No hits in three Russell. tries so far. He struck out once. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. For the Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Hit hard to short. And that's through for a hit. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. They got a little something working here, Matt. You got the time run at second base and the go ahead run at first base. How's it going to unfold? Ready for another chance? Anthony Rizzo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Your attention, please. So with a left-handed hitter York. waiting, they'll go to their Number own left-hander out of the bullpen. Josh Edgen. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. Oh, and he misses it. Russell is on his way home. And that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an unearned run there. Looked like he tracked the ball well off the bat, but when it came time to close the deal, he just couldn't squeeze it. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. Digging in to try it again. Kyle Schwarber, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. The force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Here's Ben Zobrist now. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of it depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. This is on the ground over to first. They get the force at the plate. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Another look as they go home to first to get out of a tight spot. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate, so it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Hector Rondon is in out of the bullpen the now as he'll be inserted into now the number six spot the six following spot. the double switch. Javier Baez is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight, eight spot here. Eight spot. Here now is his dribble Cabrera, and this Javier tie ball game is a battle Baez. in the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. 
Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. How about it? Getting late here at Wrigley Field. These two clubs have battled all throughout this one, as you can see on the line score. We're all square as they play inning number eight. Now batting, Michael Conforto. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say How that cold him? streak is officially right over. Yoannis That's his second hit of the game, down. and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes called a strike and it's full three and two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Ball called strike one and two. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, move on the jam, and keep this game tied. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Little too tall that time. Three and one now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Conforto rounds third and is striding for home. And he is in there. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Into the box now. Travis Darno struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets are out on top. Four to three. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Neither guy willing to give in and the at battle continue. 
Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim nine. lead. And the Javier last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Lead. Seems like those now are the I'm ones that always the come back to haunt you. Number so eight. we'll see if that's the case here. Here's Javier Baez. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Into the box now, Matt Caesar. He's two for three thus far. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Conforto will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. In now, John Jay. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hard on the ground towards short, and Jay's on base. He's got a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second the here. The shortstop, Addison Russell. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Your Jerry Spamilia will come on now and he'll slide match. into the seven spot now, in the lineup the following spot. the double switch. Rene Rivera Jerry is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the now pitcher spot the hitting ninth spot. now on the double Number switch. Rene Rivera. In now Addison Russell. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ligaris racing back into the basket and it's gone. So a three run shot to left center and even 20 home runs for him now thus far and it's now six to four. This is an all familiar sight, something we've seen all season long. When they need a clutch hit or an offensive blast, he's their go to guy. And this is just one example in a long line of many. He's fun to watch. Into the box, Chris Bryant. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. But the Cubs do get three on the three run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's a two run lead now. It's six to four. Back here in Chicago with a great view of downtown as we're set here to start the ninth inning from Wrigley Field. Wade Davis the takes cup. the ball now in inning number, number nine, 71. looking to close the door. Wade. Miguel Montero is into the ball game here as he now takes over it. behind the plate. Number 47, Miguel Montero. Ready now, Matt Reynolds. He'll be the one to lead off against Wade Davis, who will look to try to save this one here. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. 
Standing in, Rene Rivera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Crowd gets up for the three two. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. The center fielder number 12. Striding in, Juan Ligares. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? 41,118 on their feet here at Wrigley. Ball. Misses ball two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. He threw first and hustling for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down the to their last strike, team. but they refused to go down that's without a fight. Cabrera. So they lived to fight some more. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. He spoils another one, and will do it again. And he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Hector Rondon gets the win in relief his second of the year. Wade Davis hammers down the save his 43rd of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more click on over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first, a no. double play. Oh, oh my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Here's another drive. Deep down the line.